Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this uh, multiple part video I'm going to show you how to take out heater channels and put in new ones. Uh, and we're doing a restoration of a 1953 Beetle that I got in in late 2011. Uh, I got it shipped out for me, I won it off eBay. And I had to pick up a 53 rag, I mean just to find those are uh, pretty tough. So um, this thing is all complete and original, so I, I just had to grab it. and. Uh, we started shipping it down and we're almost done with the car now but I wanted to show you some videos on the progression but as you can see the heater channels need replacing on this car and uh, heater channel replacement is a common question I get and uh, you know it's not an easy task to do um, the bugmevideo.com DVD series is excellent on heater channel replacement I do recommend picking that up um, but first thing we did was we completely gut the car as I do all my cars so everything's gutted stripped down to a bare shell and we took the body off the chassis which is ideal for doing this job and as you can see the heater channels have really got some Swiss cheese in them and you know if this was a later model car I probably wouldn't go through this extent but the fact that it's a 53 you gotta do it so um, even the back end here where the cross members are was all rotted I mean just under the rear quarters rotted so these all gotta go you know but before you go cutting away you're gonna have to brace the car so our uh, good man Serio here is an excellent welder uh, he started bracing our car up because once you take those heater channels out the car can actually almost fold you know and bend and buckle so you, can, you need to keep the integrity of the car uh, together uh, so he's bracing the car with some angle iron and uh, just welding it to the car just to keep it its structure So as you can see just basically in the front pillar there in the rear and then this whole heater channel is going to be coming out. Now, they sell heater channels today, but they're not year specific. So we had to go pick up uh, the most the friendly uh, heater channels out there today are the non-duct heater channels for earlier bugs. They got the more of the correct rounded shape and stuff. They don't have heat outlets for them, but uh, we can easily uh, add those. Because uh, these earlier heater channels did not have a tube inside of them. It was just a hollow tube. So we've got to add that heater outlet right there. And we've got to add this heat pipe to uh, to uh, to uh, add to the the heater channel, so you can, we can get heat from the motor. But that's no biggie. So we could do that. Always add that later to that channel. Uh, so you can see we're bracing it up here. But Ciro's going to start cutting his heater channel out, and uh, he's using like a uh, a torch, kind of like a plasma cutter in a way. I guess it's like a um, got some real power to it. And there's that heat pipe that we just took out. And uh, he'll just start torching away and start hammering the old rust out. And just eventually you know, take this heater channel out. You want to basically take it out where it's welded to the body. You'll see that usually there are uh, tack welds where the factory welded it to the shell. Now we used to do this in my one car garage without a lift and without even taking the body off the chassis. I mean, you can do it, but it's more difficult. It's just a lot easier to take the body off the chassis to do this kind of work. As you can see, he's cutting now down by the door, you know, where the pillars are, the, the rear uh, pillar, where the heater channel welds to the body there. He's starting to just melt that off. Now you don't have to use a torch, you can actually use a, uh, you know, a, a grinder with a, a cutting wheel on it, um, a sawzall, if, even if you want to, which might be kind of tough in this angle here, but it's great to use a grinding wheel or a cutting wheel on a, either an air tool uh, or an electric tool uh, that can actually get in there and cut. Uh, but what Serial's doing here, he's actually just basically melting it off. and just start chopping away to bang out that bad part. Now you can see it's away from the pillar there, the door end there, and uh, ready to move on. Um. 